What's up everybody, it's Justin Romine here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are actually filming Noble Wolf Vodka. They are a local vodka here in Denton, Texas. And I am here with my buddy Kostas, who owns Opa Greek Taverna. He also has a YouTube channel and all that. We're using this bar setup and he's also gonna be helping develop some of these recipes so that we can figure out what we're gonna film because I came in today with a kind of a concept, but we're gonna work a lot on the fly and make this video like super awesome. Noble Wolf is very, it's very unique because it's the only vodka derived from grapefruit. It's not grapefruit vodka, but it is derived from grapefruit, right? So it won't taste like grapefruit. Maybe like nodes, no? Very subtle. Very subtle. We're just gonna keep the camera rolling and show y'all what we're doing. So right now, I, we are closing all the blinds because we started at 7 a.m., well, 7.10, I got here late. You know, it's, it's a little early for a filmmaker, but we don't want the lighting to shift too much during the video. So we are closing the blinds because the sun is starting to rise here in Dallas, Texas, Rowlett, Texas, really. So, and it's also good to do some lunges like this to get the blood flowing. Helps with the creative juice. What's good with the side handle, I can get kind of a whip pan, or a whip pan right here. And if we focus on the glass. So I'm gonna use this bottle as like foreground. Start on the Noble Wolf, come over to you as you're pouring. So let's do it. it. Go. All right, so we have the ice. What would be, I wanna do something cool. Let's do something cool with that now. Can we do almost like a, like I don't want you to, like can we do like a sliding, like, um, dude, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, we need like slide it next to the bottle. Yeah, something like that. Can we slide it past the bottle and I'll use the bottle as the foreground and it'll come like right in front of these Noble Wolf. You're gonna have it laying like right there without knocking over a bottle, go. Yeah, that's fine. Cause I'm gonna be coming in and I want the throw to start immediately. Go, go. More so watching the Glass. It actually happening, but not on my monitor, yeah, which I don't know if it's bad. Let's do it one more time because I want to do a transition in and out. Gotcha. Maybe it's a I can come little... from like that side. Yeah, I can like, almost like dust off the label. While you're like rotating it like Chandler did. I went out to the right, so I need to come in from the left. Let's see what it looks like. Go. Oh, that was me. Go. Oh, you I like think it. Shot? I think it looked really good. So right now we're about to get the uh, vodka pouring in the glass, like with uh, the jigger. And I was on the 35 Sigma 1.4, which is a great lens. I want a little bit wider lens on this shot because I want to get more of the ambiance of what's happening. So I just, I want to see more of the shot on this one. So switching to the 24 Canon 1.4. Yeah, 1.4. I went down, so now you need to come from the top, All right? Yeah, Dude, it's actually really, I'm impressed. I think it's, the cannon. it's really it's the fast. Cannon, cannon it's an original Canon. Because I'm up in the black. Mm -hmm. I might should do manual focus, but I'm gonna try it. All right, ready, set, go. See. All right, we're gonna go to manual. We are reviewing a lot of different shots, pretty much every shot to make sure that I nailed it. Like focus, camera movement, all that. Uh, because I don't want to get in post and be like, man, this wasn't in focus or like the flow of this wasn't right. And I'm not like Daniel Schiffer, unfortunately. I don't bring my laptop to the shoot, plug it in and like, you know, check out the footage on a laptop. I just use the Feel World monitor. What also makes this tough is I'm filming it on the 24 1.4 and I am actually filming at 1.4. So your depth of field has to be really spot on. And if it's like slightly off on the focus, I mean, the shot's not gonna look good. It's not gonna be in focus. So you gotta really make sure to nail focus and be really precise with your camera movements. Takes, takes a lot of practice. I went up on that last one. So I'm gonna come from down and I'm gonna just like fly as you're like pouring. All right, ready, go. Reviewing the footage. That's pretty clean. Dude, one take, one one take right dude. Oh, now we need to do 120. 
This is all in the red Komodo, but now we are powering up the red Epic Dragon because I want to get some 120 action. The Komodo does do 120, but it's in 2K, and the crop factor is like two times. Like it's, it's already a Super 35 sensor, and it crops in to like a very small part of the sensor, so you're not getting as clean of an image. The Dragon does up to 5K widescreen, 120 frames per second. We're gonna film it on this, and there's not near the crop factor. We're gonna get some really slow motion shots for this actual vodka pour. I like tilted down like this, yeah, I kinda did. like fell. Cool. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna come back up from here and get the pour. Like the Almost like I fell and then came back up. Yeah. yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Go. I mean, it's so quick, I'm you know, excited. it's like just, I wanna almost like film it twice from a different angle. Film it two times, I have it from that angle, but then as it's pouring, yeah. a zoom out shot right here. Okay. To have multiple angles of the same thing to cut to. Go to where you're gonna pour it. We wanna fill it up real quick. Right. Yeah, well, let me let me get that. Oh, little, little, little. I'm just gonna try to grab focus where you're pouring. All right, ready? This is just for good measure, just to have multiple angles. Ready, set, go. It's, it's gonna be a tight shot in post, but I'm gonna back up just a little bit because what I can always do, since this is 5K footage, I can punch in a little bit on the shot. So, focus. Come a little further forward. Yeah. So we're back uh, on the Komodo. The Komodo, I have the 24 mil on right now. It's a little bit wider. I don't have a probe lens, but I'm gonna fake it on the 24 mil. I'm gonna put the cup of ice and vodka next to the vodka bottle. And I'm gonna put them kind of close together and put the lens like through there and then pull out and reveal kind of like the ice and the vodka. Set, go. All right, so we are switching back to the Red Epic because I wanna get this in 120 again. I wanna get the can flipping through the air before he opens it. It's almost gonna be a fluid shot. I wanna get this in one take to where you like flip it, catch it, and then open it. That's why we're doing 120. I'm thinking like, okay. like that. It's probably gonna shake it up a little. Fine. Can you do it from that hand to that hand? What hand are you gonna crack it with? Yeah. You're gonna do it that. So yeah. can you throw it from that hand to that hand? I'm gonna open it. Go. And everything's in focus, and yeah. then speed ramp out. Yeah. Dude, heck yeah. yeah. All right, I nailed it. Let's go. Filmmaking mistake, we are getting the bottle, the grapefruit opening for the shot. And I was doing a cool like push in from the top, coming down, and I just went slightly past the focal point. So, gotta do it again. Go. Dude, the noble wolf like that, yeah. all that's in focus. That grapefruit just kinda like goes through the glass. Yeah. Falls to the bottom. See, this is gonna look so much better on multiple levels. I wanna get a detailed shot. We already filmed one shot of the grapefruit juice pour pouring into the ice, the vodka with the ice. Uh, but now, the, the grapefruit juice looks so good going through the ice and kind of like just, what is it, dissolving? It's going through the vodka, it's a, it's a heavier liquid, so it goes through the vodka. So you like see it actually moving through the vodka. Like coffee which, and creamer. Ooh, yeah, exactly. So I wanna get a detailed shot of that, dumbed down to like 4K widescreen and see if we can get maybe just a slightly higher frame rate. So, let's see what it looks like. Go. Garnish? We, we got the grapefruit now, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, let me give it a little stir. Let's switch back to the Komodo on this one. No, gosh. The high frame rate is getting me right now. All right, let's get this a couple, we're gonna film this a couple different times just to get a couple different angles of the stir. Because right now, I'm not doing any really crazy transitions. I'm just getting some details to cut to pretty quick just to showcase the, the feeling like somebody's actually there trying this. Ready, set, go, go. Going. And action. Can you come on this side? Because I don't. I almost don't want you behind yeah, the frame. Yeah. That would be for the uh, bot coming out of the bottle, right? Instead of going to all these different music sites and trying to figure out the perfect sound effect, it's always good to record the actual sounds of what's happening. So right now, 
We're taking a quick break. We're almost done filming, but we want to capture close up. This is the Sennheiser MKH 416, and I'm getting really tight to get every little sound that's happening during this video so I can use that exact audio sound bite. Well, and that's a wrap y'all. I hope you enjoyed this shoot. I hope you enjoyed the final product and the behind the scenes look. Hopefully you learned something. And if you didn't learn anything, I hope you at least enjoyed looking at my creative flow, my creative process, and can apply that to your films. If you have any further questions, as always, drop me a comment down below. And I look forward to seeing you filmmakers next time.